We have more news from Detroit's west side and it's all breaking. 7X News reporter Matt Smith just arrived on the scene of a horrific crash that may be connected to another police situation. Matt, what have you found out so far? Alicia Keenan, this one did not look good when they actually pulled the person out of the vehicle. I want to take a look over here. This is an SUV, a truck of some sort. It's on its side. I've been looking around. You only see the one vehicle out here. As you said, could be connected to another crime. Our newsroom was tracking multiple stories, including a burglary at a nearby business. Still trying to figure out with police if that is somehow connected to that. That's the initial impression we got. But we, again, are trying to confirm that information. You see the vehicle on its side. What I just witnessed all of four or five minutes ago, was fire crews working to extricate somebody from inside that vehicle. Again, when they were pulled out, they had a mask on. They got him in the ambulance. The only good news here, we saw sirens and lights that went away. That is the possibility that they are still working to save the person's life. So we are still waiting to find out a condition of this. There is a whole lot of action out here. If you don't know the area, uh, major intersections, crossways would be Southfield and uh, Chicago. We're just across the street from Cody High School. A lot of police, a lot of fire. And again, the ambulance just took off all of 30 to 45 seconds right before you joined us live out here. Chaotic situation unfolding behind me on the west side. We are going to work to get more information for you and bring you an update, hopefully a little later in the show. For now, we're live. I'm Matthew Smith. We'll send it back to you in the studio.